Hi everybody, this is Shauna from Shauna.Plans on Instagram and here on YouTube. So it is Tuesday night and it is already late, um, but it is Tuesday so that means we do a plan with me using the custom scene Procreate files. So if this is your first time watching me do one of these videos, um, custom scene has released some amazing Procreate files that you can build your own digital planner in Procreate. You get covers, papers, the little locks or zippers. There's so many different things, pens, washies. This is just one of the four um, planner kits that come in the bundle that you can buy from Custom Scene. Um, I think it's called Create Your Own Planner. And, and you, you really do create your own planner. So I have dedicated my Tuesday videos to building a GoodNote spread using the Procreate files. The first time I did it, I um, made all the elements in Procreate and then assembled them in GoodNotes. Then last week, I assembled most of it in Procreate and it was so much easier. I um, did that after watching the how-to video that Custom Scene released last week and it was fantastic. So we'll do it that way again. Um, I'm just rushing here to get all organized. I um, I signed up for my local Weavers and Spinners Guild. Um, I used to be in it before COVID and then I quit for a couple years because of COVID and I didn't want to do, you can't have a guild meeting through Zoom. I just, I wasn't interested in that. So anyway, I signed back up and I went tonight to my first time and we, there's going to be a weaving class. So we warped our looms and I haven't warped a loom in so long. Oh my goodness. I was terrible at it. And I still have so much homework to do before the actual class starts in a few weeks. Um, I don't know. Do my pictures load? I don't know if you can see this. This is my loom that I was warping. This is the um, yarn that they picked for me it was totally random and I got bright green which is my favorite so this yarn has to be threaded through all these little holes here and then this thing in behind it's the reed so these are the heddles and this is the reed and I have to we like poke this little yarn through all these little holes it's, it's it's pretty crazy anyway that's that's my table loom so I bought a couple years ago used never used it and so I'm very excited to be using it now um, but my class guild meeting whatever you want to call it it went really late <laughs> it's already almost 10 o'clock and I'm only just starting this video now and here I am rambling about not the video so focus Shauna focus so the first thing we're gonna do I'm gonna I'm gonna use this planner notebook I think um, yeah First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the background off. Now, the digital paper for this week was made for us by Sukena or Suki Bujo on Instagram. You can download the paper from my Facebook group. I already have it in my photos. So I am going to, first I'm gonna see what kind of palette it makes for us. So I'm gonna create a new palette. Um, Not like that. Delete. I did this last time too. Create a new palette from photos. I'm going to pick this picture and it pulls the colors for us. Very pretty. I love this, this paper. Um, now I'm going to insert a photo and grab it as well. So Sukena made us this. It's a seamless paper and it's just gorgeous. So we're going to make it the cover of our planner. So it's going to be the pocket. So I'm going to drag it into this pocket group. And it automatically switched to a clipping mask. Look at that, the paper or the color. The default color of this planner matches it really well. It looks like I made did that on purpose and I didn't. I promise I'm not that organized. That's all luck. <gasps> Look how pretty that is. Okay, so I'm going to actually duplicate 
Okay, so take this one out of the group and I want the planner base. And I'm gonna insert this above the change planner color as well, except for some reason it grouped it. So I'm just gonna undo, because I don't know why it grouped it. And we're gonna try again. There we go. And I'm gonna bring it over to this side. Make sure everything's covered. And then I'm gonna tap this little end here and I'm gonna drop the opacity like really a lot. Let's do 15. And now this behind it, I'm gonna make white. You can see there's kind of some texture that's already part of the file. I think I'm gonna try the whites. Oh, I'm not gonna draw a line. I think that's better. So what I've done is I've dropped the yellow behind and since I've made this opaque, the color behind it's glowing through. It gives it kind of a yellow tint, which I think kind of matches it a little bit better than the white background. I'm not totally sure I'm loving it, but let's let's keep with it for now and see how it all comes together. You won't see a lot of that once we put the paper on top. So let's deal with this little pocket here. Let's pick one of the colors. I think I'm really loving that bright red. I don't know if that'll be too much. Let's find out. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna change this back pocket. So I'm just if I hit the, the move tool, it selects. So I know that I'm changing the bottom part of this back pocket. So we can drop that in and then we'll do part the other part. And again, I can use the move tool, so this is like the whole thing. There we go. So that's our pocket. We've got two zippers on this one. So let's find our zippers here. And we'll change the color. So this zipper is the bottom one. those up. I'll leave the slider how it is for now. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Okay. Loving this. All right, what else? So our zip sliders, we need to change that color. So that is these little deals here. What color? We've got some, I think maybe the orange. Oh yes, definitely the orange. Okay, so that's that slider. And let's do the other slider. And you can see it autumn, even though I dropped the same color in, it looks a lot lighter because that's the way the light is hitting it. This one has the angle a bit different, so the light's shining on it. This one doesn't have the light shining on it. Fun. Oh, I think I drew on my screen. So, I saw, if I grab this whole group, we can move the slider down to the bottom of the zipper, like that, 
now it's technically an open zipper if we do it that way I'm going to make this one a closed zipper. This one's an open zipper. So now I want to grab a little scrap of paper or something. What have we got here? This one might be cute. Turn the design off. Maybe grab one of these blues. Let's just make sure we're dropping that color on the right layer. Oops. And we've got Coffee Canvas. We'll go back up to our planner. Oh, I forgot to make a new planner. Hang on. I'm just going to duplicate it. I don't mind editing the colors and the... And the um, using stuff within this file, but as soon as I start adding new things to it, I like to have it as a new file. Um, just it's easier for when I want to make my next project. So I think if I stick this here, look at that, it looks like it's in the thing. Okay, so now obviously it's not, I don't want it hanging over the edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it to the edge of my canvas and deselect it. And that cuts it. See, so yeah, I snipped it off. And now I can just put it so it's under the zipper. And it looks like that little piece of paper there is poking out um, of my zipper. Okay. Let's grab this. just going to make it look like we're working on the front side and I'm just going to leave it blank so copy canvas and the genius of this is that it's all perfectly lined up when you paste it in like magic it's exactly going to be centered um the way the the files are it just does this perfectly so now we look like we're on our front page. I'm going to put some kind of pocket or something here. Here's our little pocket. So let's start changing some colors. Did I not pick the right layer? Oh, that's a pocket that's turned off. Oh, that makes them really close together. I get it. Well, look at all the pockets. There's way more. Okay, let's go back to how it was. So now, off. I 
and then we can make some stuff to go in these pockets. So same thing as we did before. Um, I'm going to just make this more opaque. So I'm going to leave the white background this time and copy canvas. paste. So I want this to be Let's just shrink it down a little here. And so you can see it's, it looks like it's inside my pocket. Now I had this problem last time, see it was snapping. So if you take this and you turn your magnetics off, then you can snap it or you can rotate it without having such drastic angles. I struggled with that last week. It's all a learning curve. There we go. Maybe we can put something in that bottom pocket as well. So there are other kits as well, and they have different themes. Ooh, this little crumpled paper might be fun. Change the wrong layer again. I want to change this layer. And then we need to change this little part here as well. Oops. Copy canvas. Oh, I forgot to duplicate again. I'm just a basket case tonight. All right, so we want it above that layer. So now if I put this, we'll turn that off again. Yeah, a little wrinkly piece of paper in that pocket. Did it make a little sticker? Nope, I didn't want to paste. Undo, undo. Insert a photo. There, and we'll go clipping mask. Now this one I want to be on the top layer. And we'll just make it look like it's a mangled sticker. There we go. So we've got some stuff 
over here to deal with still. The pen holder. It actually matches quite nicely, but it is not a palette color. So let's change it to one. We got maybe the yellow. It already is yellow. This dark blue. Is that the one I used on the pocket? That's cute. Okay. Now let's make a pen. This one's really pretty. So I've changed the inside and the outside of the pen. We could Oh, no. I don't like the white. We could lighten that red a little bit though. So I want this one to be under my pen loop. So I'm going to highlight the group below the pen loop and paste. And then I can just drag this over. There we go. And now it's just tucked right under my pen loop. And the red kind of all ties my bits of red together. Let's make some washi. So oops, I drew on my screen. Undo, undo. Okay, now we'll do should we do yellow? And then let's change the clip to match the same metallic color we did for those zips. And we'll just do up some paper clips here. Maybe these ones in that really dark blue almost black. This is almost the same color that it already is. All right. I love this like crumpled up piece of paper.
make a patterned pencil. change my eraser maybe a red eraser okay. all right okay so now let's take all these elements we have this one we need a pen and paper clips pencil that pen is already in our planner so we don't need that. We did our sticker. A little clip. Okay, I think that's all the things I need. So I'm going to go share, PNG, and I'm just going to save those to my camera roll. Actually, let's build it. I don't know what day this is, but let's build our planner here. I think that background will look nice. Okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, darn it. This one came in right. So now we can take all of our little elements that we made. I'm going to crop with some of them. So you want to be careful not to crop your shadow. Put a crumpled up paper there. We'll close my eyes. We don't need it. Why is that one coming in with a white background? Oh, and that one too. So we'll just go share, PNG, copy. And what was the other one? My clip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I'm missing one. Oh, this one. And then I grabbed it twice. First I had none, and then I had too many. There we go. I don't like the big borders, so we'll just crop it down a little. I think this was Friday.
Friday the 15th. So there's our date. My wins, my gratitudes. How much fun is this? All right, so now when you get the custom scene, so the Digital Planner Creator bundle comes with the Procreate files. What is happening here? This is not my files. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, there are other things you can get on from custom scene I if you buy the one year unlimited bundle you can download anything on their site you pay one time up front um, and there's a ton of really cute PNGs I have gone and copied them and uh, some of them I've downloaded some of them and made that put them into folder so this is my plants folder so I'm just gonna grab a plant Just stick that up in the corner there because that that hydrangea is too pink. It doesn't quite go with this. Oops. Doesn't quite go with the colors in this theme. You're gonna want to grab everything. So they do because these have big shadows. So I've selected it. I can see that the, the line is there. So when I lasso this stuff, I'm gonna lasso above that line and then I won't grab the planner. Okay. This is cute. I like having the roll of washi and then using the washi as well on the page. I think that kind of ties it together. So I need one last thing. And that is my planning checklist. We're going to go solid. Turn that off. And let's pick a color. Oh, that's really orange. There we go. Now this is a checklist that I made myself to track my water. And then I just added it to match my spread. Put that there. And then I need my to-do list. This font that I'm using is called bouncy castle it's super cute I have no idea where I got it there's so many fonts um but yeah this one's called bouncy castle I like it all 
So the only thing I'm missing is my extreme planning and my little clipboard with Harold, but I'll add that in later. Um, this does a pretty good job of using this week's digital paper, using the Procreate files. I think it turned out really cute. I just want something for bullets. Maybe we can make some bullets with the stickers. So I used the torn sticker. Oh, where have you went in that one? Oh, there's my cat. He's saying, come to bed, it's really late. I want to snuggle. I'm gonna go to a blank page, paste that down, so this is basically just, I mean, a circle. You could have clipped it over any circle. There's probably some texture. Yeah, there's a bit of a texture to it. And you can see it has like a rubbed off edge. So it does give it that sticker look. I think it's cute. I love this paper. I don't know how Sukana made it. Very nice though. So pretty. We'll cut and paste. And that can be my to-do list. Oh, cute. I like how that turned out. I did something weird to this pen. I don't know what or when. I wasn't paying attention. Let's see if we can just... Stretch it back out again. Does that look about right? Sure. <laughs> All right, there we go. And there is my daily spread using the custom scene um, Procreate templates and the digital paper from our challenge this week. So the digital paper challenge runs in my Facebook group Monday to Sunday. Every Sunday I put out a new paper for you to use and share in the upcoming week. Um, it's just for fun. It's just to um, give people new ideas, inspire, play with. <laughs> um, I hope you guys all are liking it. I'm gonna have to do another round of asking shops if they wanna donate a paper. Um, if you have any papers you've made that you wanna share, let me know, I appreciate it. Um, but I think that's it. It is late and I still have to edit this and get it uploaded, so I will go and do that now. I'll be back on Thursday to talk about new releases from Pink Punch Studio, so I will see you in a couple days. Bye, everybody!